Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946, at the Jamaica Hospital in the borough of Queens, New York City. His father was Frederick Christ Trump, a Bronx-born real estate developer, whose own parents were German immigrants. His mother was Scottish-born housewife and socialite Marianne McLeod Trump. Trump grew up in the Jamaica Estates neighborhood of Queens and attended the Q Forest School from kindergarten through seventh grade. He grew up in a very wealthy family with a very driven father that taught him a lot of his life skills. At age 13, he was enrolled in the New York Military Academy, a private boarding school. In 1964, Trump enrolled at Fordham University. Two years later he transferred to the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. While at Wharton, he worked at the family business, Elizabeth Trump & Son. Graduating in May 1968 with a B.S. in economics, Donald erroneously reported that he had graduated first in his class at Wharton but he had never made the school's honor roll. In 2015 Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen threatened Fordham University and the New York Military Academy with legal action if they released Trump's academic records. In 1966, he was deemed fit for military service based upon a medical examination, and in July 1968 a local draft board classified him as eligible to serve. In October 1968, he was medically deferred and classified unfit for service. Trump said in 2015 that the medical deferment was due to a bone spur in a foot, though he could not remember which foot had been afflicted. Donald Trump claims he has never drank alcohol, or smoked, but he likes fast food. He prefers three to four hours of sleep per night and has called golfing his primary form of exercise, although he usually does not walk the course. He considers exercise a waste of energy. In 1982, Trump was listed on the initial Forbes list of wealthy individuals as having a share of his family's estimated $200 million net worth. Trump's claims of always winning haven't always looked to be the truth. He has often said he began his career with, a small loan of $1 million from his father, and that he had to pay it back with interest. In October 2018, The New York Times reported that Trump borrowed at least $60 million from his father, largely failed to reimburse him and had received $413 million from his father's business empire over his lifetime. According to the report, Trump and his family committed tax fraud, which Trump denied. Trump's real estate began with Manhattan developments, and then went to Palm Beach Estate in Florida and, his well-known, for all the wrong reasons, Atlantic City casinos. Trump acquired the Taj Mahal, in 1988 in a highly leveraged transaction. It was financed with $675 million in junk bonds and completed at a cost of $1.1 billion, opening in April 1990. The project went bankrupt the following year, and the reorganization left Trump with only half his initial ownership stake and required him to pledge personal guarantees of future performance. Facing enormous debt, he gave up control of his money-losing airline, Trump Shuttle, and sold his, 282-foot mega-yacht, the Trump Princess which had been indefinitely docked in Atlantic City while leased to his casinos for use by wealthy gamblers. In 2003, Trump became the co-producer and host of The Apprentice, a reality show in which contestants competed for a one-year management job with the Trump Organization. Trump weeded out applicants with the catchphrase, You're fired. Trump previously considered a presidential run in 1998 as a Republican, but chose not to run. But in 2000, Trump decided to seek the presidential nomination of the Reform Party. Trump focused his campaign on the issues of fair trade, eliminating the national debt, and achieving universal health care as outlined in the campaign companion piece, The America We Deserve. Critics questioned the seriousness of Trump's campaign and speculated that it was a tactic to strengthen his brand and sell books. Trump ended his campaign saying he felt the party was too dysfunctional to win a general election, after being shown to only have 7% support. In 2015, Trump announced his candidacy for President of the United States under the Republican Party. Trump built his campaign on illegal immigration, offshoring of American jobs and started the campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. Trump said his wealth would make him immune to pressure from campaign donors. Trump won 30 states and was inaugurated as the 45th President of the United States on January 20, 2017. Within a few hours of becoming the President Trump signed his intention to run again in 2020. Do you think Trump can win again in 2020? Comment below. Thanks again for watching another 5 minutes of video. Please like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more.